mirror on the wall. Which is the spiciest phone of them all? John, you're such an apple sheep. Want tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Subscribe and turn on notifications for cause I said so. Hello and welcome back to Front Page Tech, of course show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Happy Thursday. Uh, before every episode, before I record, I always have an energy drink so I can be 110% germ for you. Uh, but today, I got the energy drink out of the fridge and I immediately bashed it on the edge of the counter and it poked a hole in the can and the energy drink exploded. So then I had to clean all that up, got another energy drink out of the fridge, and then immediately tripped and spilled it everywhere. How's your day going? Alright, so first up for the day, story numero uno, the coronavirus. I know, I, d I never thought I'd be talking about something like this, like a virus outbreak on a tech news show. But I got up because uh, if you were unaware, the majority of the coronavirus outbreak is happening in China. And it just so happens that all the tech that you love is made in that place. It's gotten pretty bad and Google is now starting to close offices, temporarily at least, uh, in mainland China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. Literally all of them temporarily shutting down all offices in China because of the coronavirus. And it's not just Google right now either. Apple also has stuff in China right now. As we know, they've closed one store, maybe one or two stores in China, and they're like scrambling to try to avoid delays in production because most of this shit is made in China. I mean, obviously this is pretty scary. It keeps spreading. Tech companies are trying to prevent employees from traveling back and forth from China back to the US because it's our, it's already in the US. It's already starting to spread here. What if, what if everyone dies? Like, what if this is it? This is what did it. We got the fucking beer virus and we all died. Well, you know, you know who won't die though? Me. I never go outside. I don't have any human contact. Good luck, society. I'm going to be here, hunkered down in my house, and you won't find me. I'm going to be living, tweeting to nobody. Still on the internet. I don't give a fuck. I'll still be here. All right, so next up, let's talk about the unpacked event that is right around the corner. Obviously, getting ready to see the Galaxy S20, as well as the Galaxy Z Flip or whatever. Remember, you remember when everybody, all the news websites was calling that the Galaxy Fold 2, that clamshell like Moto Razor folding phone looking thing from Samsung? Uh, and everyone was like, that's the Galaxy Fold 2. And I said, probably not. Who said that? It's probably the Galaxy letter, like Z, Y, X. I called that shit. The Z Flip is the name of it, and Samsung is trying real hard to promote this stuff. They've got a bunch of billboards up, and they just released a teaser trailer thing titled Change the Shape of the Future. Now, even though this teaser thing doesn't actually show the phones, we, we can see the shape of them. Like right here where it says 2020, that first shape on the left is the camera module on the Galaxy S20. And then the last square on the, the on the right is the shape of the clamshell Z flip thing. So that's the phone closed. And here's some pictures of the ads like scattered all across the world for this. They're really going all out for marketing here. They're obviously going all out for this stuff. They want us to be excited. And you know what? It's working. I am. I'm excited for the Galaxy S20. That looks fucking incredible. Awesome. Specs are great. Great. I want that. Ha Let me has that. I want that. But the Z Flip? Hmm. No. That's a... W you know my... You know where I stand with the whole foldables thing. The Z Flip is just... It, it's a worse idea than the Galaxy Fold, because at least with the Galaxy Fold, you open it up and you have more phone. The Z Flip just takes the phones that we have now that work perfectly, this doesn't solve any problem whatsoever, and just creates an extra step. Where if you want to use, you gotta open it up. I cannot wait till the shit is over. This foldable bullshit is over. All right, so lasty, last up for the day, let's talk about, about Apple stuff, um, iPhone 12 stuff. We'll give you a look at the iPhone 12. We've got some cool renders for that. But first, uh, this. Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple analyst extraordinaire, has told us what to expect over the next few months from Apple. Assuming we're getting that event in March, we can expect to see there those uh, tags, the Apple tag tracker things, like tile tracker things, which we were supposed to see already, but then they, anyway, 
Well, ho hopefully we'll see those then. Of course, a brand new set of high-end headphones, uh, an updated iPad Pro, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and of course that 4.7 inch LCD iPhone that we're expecting. Literally none of this should be a surprise to you, but what is a surprise is that they're also apparently working on a wireless charging pad, like another one. So yeah, another wireless charging mat. Let's like think air power, but small, small power. But you know what? After the whole air power thing, I will not believe that shit until I'm actually holding one. They can go on stage again and be like, hey, look, new wireless charging mat from Apple. It's small. Here you go. Please buy. And I'll just be like, Uh-huh. Anyway, iPhone 12. Let's talk about iPhone 12 stuff. And by talk about it, I mean, uh, look at it. Thanks to Let's Go Digital and Concept Creator, we have these renders of the iPhone 12. And usually I avoid talking about renders on this show, but this is based off of like the most credible information that we have. This isn't just like some crazy wacky concept. This is a concept render based on actual real life sh**. Credible information from credible leakers, and that's the most important part. And my god, with these flat squared off sides, it just looks so good. And of course, as I've been trying to hammer into your brain holes, there's a notch. There's a notch there. Smaller notch, but then notch. And I'm all about this. I don't care what anybody says. There will never be another phone that looks as good as this one. This is the iPhone 4. There will never be another phone that looks as good as this. But you know what? I will take this. I will accept it into my life. I will buy it. I will, I will buy two, put them together like a sandwich and eat them. Yum, yum, iPhone sandwich. I mean, I'm sure my iPhone sandwich will taste like it was made by a bunch of little kids in a sweatshop somewhere, because it was, but I'm still gonna buy it. And that's it, that's the show. Hopefully you liked it, you learned something. If you did, hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button, that works too. If you're new here, subscribe, and I'll see you guys, wait for it, to Mary.